What's up guys, I have one of the most exciting smartphones on the market. First, this is a rugged phone, but it is not even its main feature. The highlight of this mobile device is the compact size, it has only 4.5 inch display. Comparing to my iPhone 12, it is very small, but it is much more comfortable to hold in one hand. It also has a good specifications, such as Helio G85 chipset, 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, 20 megapixels main camera. What do you think the price of this smartphone? It is only $100. So today we will do a full review of Cubot King Kong Mini 3. Please make sure you are subscribed to our channel Tech Brothers. Hit the like button to this video and let's get started. The new Cubot smartphone comes in this box. There are the main features of mobile device on the back of the box. By the way, Cubot King Kong Mini 3 has 3000 mAh battery and we will test battery life and charging time later in this video. Inside the box, there is the smartphone itself. And then we have a user manual and other documentations in the box. You know, there are even a wired earbuds with USB Type-C connection in the package. A power adapter and a charging cable are also included. This design is definitely the main feature of this smartphone. You know, the most rugged phones are bulky and heavy, but Cubot King Kong Mini 3 has a small display, so the mobile device is very compact. The dimensions are 131 by 58 by 13.4 mm. The weight is 150 grams. As you can see, the new Cubot smartphone is almost as thick as my iPhone 12 in a protective case. By the way, you don't need a protective case for Cubot King Kong Mini 3, because this is a rugged mobile device. It has a waterproof and dustproof body. But I didn't find information about trading. This is probably IP68. All the corners and three panels are covered by a soft plastic to absorb shock and damage, while the side faces are metal. There is a SIM card, memory card slot, a power button on the right side, the volume up and down buttons are on the left. The smartphone also has a linear attachment, but you need to buy it additionally. Cubot King Kong Mini 3 has only USB Type-C port at the bottom. If you are looking for a speaker, it is above the screen. By the way, let's check a speaker quality. In fact, I am very surprised by the speaker, because despite the small size of the smartphone, it is very loud. Talking about display, as I said before, it has a diagonal of 4.5 inches and QHD Plus resolution, 480 by 1170 pixels. The screen has unusual aspect ratio. It is longer than other smartphones. When you watch videos on YouTube, you have large bezels on the right and left sides of the screen. You consume the video to fill the display, but then you will lose the top and bottom of the video, so it is not very comfortable to watch videos on this smartphone. You know, first I was disappointed that Cubot King Kong Mini 3 has only QHD resolution, not even HD. However, in fact, it is good for a small 4.5 inch screen. It looks like the smartphone runs on stock Android operating system. The Android version is 12. There were no pre installed apps from the manufacturer other than Google apps such as YouTube, Chrome, and Maps. You know, the most rugged phones have toolbox with some useful functions such as compacts, bubble level, pressure, etc. But the new Cubot smartphone doesn't even have it. So this is probably the cleanest Android I have seen lately. The user interface is very fast and smooth because of the clean Android and good hardware. You know, looking at this little smartphone, you don't think it is powerful, but it is. The mobile device is equipped with Helio G85 chipset, 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal memory. You can also use micro SD memory card to expand the storage. I want to recall you the price of this phone. It is only $100. I think the new Cubot smartphone has very good results for its price, such as 223,000 points in Antutu, 344 points in a single core test of Geekbench 5 and 1255 points in multi-core test. In 3D Mark, the smartphone has a 742 overall score. Moreover, you can play any games on this phone, such as Genshin Impact, PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile. 
the performance is really good. For example, the graphics in PUBG Mobile is HD and FPS is high. However, because of the compact screen, it is not very convenient to play games. I used to miss buttons quite often in shooters. Curiously, this small display is both an advantage and a disadvantage of this smartphone. Talking about camera, there's a single 20 megapixel sensor on the back and 5 megapixel sensor on the front, so you don't have an ultra wide angle camera, macro, or even portrait camera on this phone. However, in the camera app, you can choose a mono shooting mode video, picture, beauty, night, pro, and scan. In the picture settings, we can see the maximum photo resolution of 20 megapixels. You can also enable anti shake, geotagging, white balance, ISO, and other settings. The maximum video resolution is 1080p. There is no video stabilization in the settings. But you can choose the scene mode, enable face detection, and use some other options. If we would talk about quality of photos, they are really good during the day in sunny weather. As I said, there is no portrait, macro, or wide-angle modes on this smartphone, but you can zoom in up to 4x through the camera app. The daytime video footage is also good, but it is very jerky because of the lack of stabilization. Talking about night shooting, it was a big problem for me to get even one photo, perhaps because of the extreme cold, but the smartphone didn't want to focus. I was only enabled to take these two normal pictures. Keyboard King Kong Mini 3 is a very compact smartphone, so it has only 3000 mAh power battery. 
it also supports stand-watt charging. However, because of the small screen with QHD resolution and energy-efficient processor, the battery life is good. In the test of continuous video playback, the smartphone ran for 9 hours and 23 minutes. By comparison, I recently tested Infinix Hot 20 with a 5000mAh power battery, and it had almost 11 hours of battery life. So despite the small battery, the battery life of Cubot King Kong Mini 3 is decent. Talking about charging, as I said before, it is only 10 watt. But the full battery charge takes 1 hour and 52 minutes. It is also key, okay, but if there was 18 watt fast charging support, it would be much better. You know the processor of this smartphone doesn't support 5G networks, but you can use 4G LTE on both SIM cards. I also found an inscription on the AliExpress page that the smartphone doesn't support networks of the North America. Please check your country's network support before buying the phone. By the way, Cubot King Kong Mini 3 has NFC support, so you can use it for Google Pay contactless payments. So after about of a week of test and the new Cubot smartphone, I am ready to share with you what I liked and disliked about it. First, the price is definitely the main feature of this mobile device. I have bought it for only $100, and I think it is a great deal. You know, it is very difficult to find a comeback smartphone in 2022, but Cubot King Kong Mini 3 is one of them. The smartphone has a very comfortable size, thickness and weight. It is pleasant to hold in one hand or carry in a jeans pocket. I think that there are still many fans of the compact smartphones. However, Cubot King Kong Mini 3 has not only a compact size, but also a rugged design. Many rugged phones are bulky and heavy, but not this one. The smartphone is waterproof and dustproof, so it is a great option for active people. In addition, I am surprised by the performance of this mobile device. It is powered by a good Helio G85 chipset, and it comes with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. The user interface, web surfing, and even playing games are very good on this smartphone. I didn't have any problems with performance in Genshin Impact, PUBG Mobile, and other games. Cubot King Kong Mini 3 has only a single 20 megapixels main camera, but it takes decent photos in daytime. If you have sunny weather, you can take good pictures with this mobile device. The smartphone has only 3000 mAh battery capacity, but the battery life on a single charge is very good. You can get about 9.5 hours of screen and time. The battery life is good because of the small display with QHD resolution and energy-efficient processor. Finally, I like NFC support in the new Cubot smartphone. Ok, talking about shortcomings of Cubot King Kong Mini 3. First, it doesn't have a fingerprint reader. I cannot remember when I have tested a mobile device without a fingerprint scanner. It is a very useful feature to unlock a smartphone, but it is missing here. I said that the compact size is an advantage of this phone, but it is also a disadvantage. It is not very comfortable to watch videos on YouTube because of the thick bezels on sides and play games on this small display. Also, night shooting is a big challenge on this smartphone. I was only enabled to take a few pictures because the focus works very badly in low light conditions. The new Cubot phone has only 10 watt charging, and it takes about 2 hours to fully charge a battery. If the smartphone had 18 watt fast charging support, it would take about 1 hour to fully charge a 3000 mAh battery. Overall, I definitely liked Cubot King Kong Mini 3. Even though there are many shortcomings, it's been a long time since I have tested such compact smartphones, and even more with a rugged design. What do you think of this mobile device? Write in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you soon.